It's a new day. No, it's 42 hours since the Iowa Hawkeyes stepped on the court against Michigan at Carver Hawkeye Arena. And this afternoon, it's the Hawkeyes engaging the Ohio State Buckeyes in Columbus. Perkins, a pull-up jumper way off the mark. Weak side rebound by uh, Keegan Murray is up and in. Whirls into the paint, step back jumper, no good. Tough shot, good defense by Iowa. Rebound ripped away by Keegan Murray ahead to Tony Perkins. Right back to Keegan. Keegan sees a lane, he's going right to the basket. Shot is up and good off the glass. Man, oh man, he got knocked straight sideways and still talked it in off the square. Yeah, that, that just physicality. Patrick McCaffrey with a wild shot inside, no good, but a weak side uh, tip dunk by Tony Perkins. Tony, with the one foul play, he, he's, he'll play aggressive, Tony Perkins. McCaffrey, Patrick McCaffrey, high post left, gets it inside to Rebracha. He forces up a shot and it went in. It hooked, skimmed off the glass. There's a backdoor lob again to Liddell. And a dunk. Keegan Murray, nothing he could do. I'm out. He's claiming that Liddell shoved him out of the way. Buckeyes are on a run. They've scored on their last three trips and lead it by 11. 21-10. Chris Murray at the top of the circle to brother Keegan. His three is good. There's a start. Quickly are the Hawks into the front court. Here's Keegan up and yeah, good and a score. And a foul called on Ohio State. Terrific pass by Connor McCaffrey on the give and go with Keegan Murray. Keegan Murray with a pass, high post left, drives inside, stutter move up and no good. Put back is good by Murray. Went and got his own miss. Quick off his feet. Wheeler drives into three Hawkeyes, nowhere to go. Gets it back out top with five to shoot. Driving in, missing a jumper. Brunk has it stripped away by Toussaint. And shot clock violation again. Great defense by Iowa. Yeah, especially Joe Toussaint right there. Baseline right for 15. Connor on the right wing threw it back through the lob up where Keegan got a back screen. Easy alley-oop dunk. Joe Toussaint, Joe step back jumper. Good. Curls it in. Rattles through the iron and down through. Euless. Back to Keegan. His three. Good. He is on fire. He can feel it. 18 now for Keegan Murray here in the first half. 26-25. Left wing to Joe Toussaint. Five to shoot. Joe gets inside. Forces up a shot. And down it goes. Leaned into the defender. Laid back almost parallel to the floor and knocked down the jumper. He's got the upper body strength to make that uh, play right there, but that's two that Joe has made. Euless backs the dribble out, goes inside. Reverse layup is good. Now that time, had the body and the ball under control. He did, and he had Zed Key trying to guard him out there. Patrick McCaffrey inside. Those scorers off the window. Looked to throw it to the wing, then spun back inside. Chris Murray goes to the basket. Shot blocked again by Liddell. Chris gets it right back to brother Keegan and a dunk. And the Hawks are back in front, 35-34. Halftime is here. It's the Hawks have the lead over the Buckeyes, 39-38. Tony Perkins gets a layup to go. The Hawkeye transition game finally beats Ohio State and now into the front court with a chance to get to within one. Or tied with a Bohan and three. Yes, sir. Good look at it. And he splashed down a couple. Tie game at 45. Rebrach is open from the baseline. Skims off the front of the rim. A putback good by Patrick McCaffrey. And a foul called on Ohio State. Nowhere to go. He's looking for an outlet. Nobody throws it away. Great double team by Keegan Murray. And Rebracha not giving ground is forced. Turnover number 10 on the Buckeyes. E.J. E. Liddell, no good. They'll let him take that shot out there. Toussaint clears off the weak side. Now Keegan Murray trying to get it going here in the second half. Backs the dribble in on Kyle Young. Out to brother Chris. His three good by Chris Murray. Lefty drains it. Iowa has its biggest lead at 5, 54-49. They dared Chris Murray to take that shot. 10 to shoot. Shot fake. Here comes Chris Murray. Shovel pass to Rebracha. Scores. Weak side cut by Phillip. Buckeyes keep it with six to shoot, and Liddell loses the dribble. Right to Bohannon. Hawks two on two the other way. Chris Murray scores on the layup. Iowa 58, Ohio State 49. Here's Keegan Murray. They're flying a double team at him. He goes in and dunks it anyway. Up over the top of Eugene Brown and slam down. Here comes Keegan Murray. We hope for a big run of points. First basket of the second half for Keegan, and he was not to be denied on that one. Here's a throw inside to Key. Knocked away by Chris Murray. Stolen by Toussaint. Three on two the other way. Chris Murray to the basket. He dunks it through. And Ohio State has to get a timeout. Final. As the Hawks go up by 11. Iowa leads it. 64-53. Score by Chris Murray again off glass. Great ball movement. Great penetration. And then the dish by Aaron Euless. What a half Chris Murray has here. Drives into Kyle Young and then nearly threw it away. And then a dunk by Keegan Murray. Wheeler dove out of bounds. Saved the ball from going out of bounds. But threw it back in under the Iowa basket. Here's Bohannon. 
Back to Eulis. Eulis gets inside, throws to Connor McCaffrey. His three. Good! The least likely candidate for a triple has just drained it. Connor McCaffrey. He's sending him to the exits here at Value City Arena. That'll be the final score, Hawk fans. 75 62, Iowa, with the upset of 18th ranked Ohio State in Columbus. <laughs> The Heartland is brought to you by the University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. And by Athletico Physical Therapy. It all starts here. Today, the first of two between the Hawkeyes and the Hoosiers. We are at Assembly Hall in Bloomington, Indiana for round one. The great news is McKenna Warnock back in the starting lineup, and now Warnock fires a three-pointer and swishes it from the left side. I'd say that's pretty good. Here's Clark Paint, oh, drops beautiful. a pass off for O'Grady, and she scores. Oh, so pretty. Now to Martin inside Sonato, left-handed layup is good over the front of the rim, and she is fouled. Sonato with 12 already. In the corner to Marshall for three. Ooh. Count it. The silencer, the shh. Anytime you're on the road, just to kind of come out super strong is super important. Um, I think we kind of got them on their heels a little bit right away, and we kind of we kept that lead the entire game, so that was awesome to see. Five people in double figures, I love that. It, you know, this, it's tough. This is a tough place to play. We haven't won here in a long time, and so to come in here and beat the number five team on their home court, um, that's a big win. That's a signature win. Big one in the Big Ten tonight from Carver Hawkeye Arena. It is round two of Iowa and Indiana. Gets in the paint, kicks it left side to McKenna Warnock, and drills the three-pointer left to the top of the key. Inside O'Grady, kicks it left side, Clark for three, got it. Here's a pass intercepted by Warnock. Drives in the right side. Jump stop, layup, two more. Warnock, top of the key, inside. Yes. Sonato off the window with the left hand and a chance for a three-point play. Now Clark, step back, three-pointer, yes. swishes it left to the top of the key. Hesitates, gets all the way to the rim, finishes with a scoop shot and is fouled. Inside, Sonato up strong. Ooh. Out the basket, wow. and she's fouled. Sonato is a beast. Into Sonato. She will make it happen. Pulls it back out. Bounce pass inside. Sonato has great position. Yes. Left-handed yes. layup. Yes. Window. Yes. Out it. And she's fouled. That is patience. That is hard work right there. I think we were just due for one of these games to kind of go our way. Even looking last year, this year, we've had a lot of close games that have kind of slipped through our fingers. and. I think this was huge, kind of a turning point for us. But I mean, Cam and I chest bumped at half court one time. So two times in a row. Yeah, two times in a row. So I want to say I completely out emotioned her. We were kind of doing it together. <laughs> We've put ourselves in a position to play for something the last week, and, and that's what you want, right? You want to be playing for something the last week of the season. It's not going to be easy. We have a road game, and then we host Michigan, who's at the top of the Big Ten and is a really good team. Um, but we're going to take it one game at a time, and we're going to give the best we got. The Heartland is brought to you by Hy-Vee, the official grocery partner of Iowa Hawkeye football. Hy-Vee, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. And by the University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. What is your go-to karaoke song? Um, probably Bohemian Rhapsody, just because I like a challenge. Um, definitely Stacy's mom. Mine would be Wanna Be by the Spice Girls. Don't stop believing. <laughs> she is just a poor boy from a poor family. My go-to karaoke song is Rich Girl by Hall & Oates. Cause you're a rich girl and it's gone too far and you know it don't matter anyway. Baby, life is a highway. Yeah, three, two, one. Life is a highway. I wanna ride it all night long. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're going my way. My go-to karaoke song. 
longest party in the USA. Oh. Bye bye, the stars. Sing, sing it. it! Sing it! Oh. Top of my hands, I'm uh -huh. in my dog, my best life by way. Not in my head, like, yeah. Yeah. Moving my hips, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean. Mine would be The Bare Necessities by Phil Harris. Oh, I'm not singing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Um. DJ got us falling in love again. Yeah, Usher. Oh, sure. DJ got us falling in love. That's a good one. Thank you. Okay. What is your go to karaoke song? Natasha Bedingfield. I forgot the name of the song, but it's like, Feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it, but yeah. <laughs> Wait, we have to sing it? Okay, my favorite song is. Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson, and I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with She Looks So Perfect, Five Seconds of Summer. It's a jam, our whole team likes it. We could probably put it on a concert if people wanna come and we'll, and we'll perform it for everybody, but I have to save that for now. Bob Devaney Center. Final duel of the regular season between number two and number 10. As uh, they've got the elevated stage here and the crowd still working its way into this Devaney Center. Oh, there's a lot of Iowa fans in here too spread out throughout this crowd. And they were chanting, let's go Hawks, let's go Hawks. It was cool to hear. Uh, we will start at 125 pounds tonight. Drake Ayala for the Hawkeyes takes on Jeremiah Reno. Doing a decent job, not just hold position. Nice. Then he comes back up and hits that sweep. Down, tree tops it way up high. Reno tries to turn kick away, and Drake covers the other ankle for the two. Real heavy as he kind of crossed and actually missed, and it fell to the mat, and then comes right back across, re-penetrates with that left-handed high crotch, and right in the middle of the mat, he had a lot more space, was able to pick up, dump him down, and get the two. Austin DeSanto comes out, taking on Alex Thompson. Boy. Austin DeSanto right there, he just playing out, flat out wrestled Alex Thompson. There was about a five move flurry right there. And kind of a tilt right there. Yeah. Leg in and just kind of pulls him over. Well, he does it. Back to the nice carry. carry. He dumps him over for the two. Thompson Such a quick through. finish right there. Now he's tilting him up. One, two. Boy, Austin is just looking awesome. And he looks like a man on a mission. That was a shellacking right two there. Two to seven in 4.03. We get ready for 141 pounds. Jaden Ironman for the Hawkeyes taking on number 10, Chad Red Jr., senior with an 11 and 3 record. Yeah, I got a feeling though in this match here, Steven, there's going to be something big's going to happen. Both these guys are dangerous wrestlers. Somewhere at some point in time in this match, you're going to see something, something big happen. Shot by Ironman, reshot by Red. Ironman circling around. Gets all the way around behind, no points yet. Picks up the leg, somersault tip by Red. Takedown, Ironman. Now oh, he got it a back. cradle. Oh, he's got a cradle almost. Two, that was a two. That was a two he's count. Got at least a two count out of it. Wow. Ironman is going to win this one, six to three. Caleb Young for the Hawkeyes against Peyton Robb. Sophomore with a 10 and five record, number 12 versus number 10. Trying to cut across to the double leg here. Roll through attempt by Rob. Almost comes through with us. We step back the other way. Come up over the hips and get the two takedown. Roll through and then Caleb gets some near falls. He scooped the head into a cross face and got a two count out of it. Nice. Six to three will be the final. Nice work, Caleb Young. Great job, Caleb Young. We move to 165 pounds. Alex Marinelli out on the mat pacing around already. Nice right away shot right there by Marinelli. Boy, the Hawks continue just to get on the offense right away. Beautiful sweep. Picks him up and trips him down as their nice. somersault attempt by Wilson. And we just yes. stop it for the two. I love it. Back at the Bob Devaney Center, we move to the heavyweights. Hawks on top, 17 to 15. Whoever wins this will win it for their team in the dual meet. Right. Up to his feet, hand control escape. See if we can ride him here. We can break him down. We can ride him. It's just the first initial. Can we get him broken down and stop the explosiveness? Keep working. Keep working forward. There you go. Down. Yeah. Now we got him down. flat. That's where we needed him. That's where we wanted him. That's going to do it. Ziope is going to get it done. 3-0 with the riding time. 3-0 is the final. 
And the Hawks will hang on and get the win by a score of 20 to 15. Now you listen to all the Iowa fans yeah. in here chant, let's go Hawks. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Extreme, powered by Mediacom, the internet preferred by Hawk fans. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless and the official wireless provider of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Latham High Tech Seeds is proud to partner with the Iowa men's basketball team in raising money for every free throw made by the Hawkeyes all season long through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion. All proceeds benefit the American Cancer Society and Coaches vs. Cancer program here in the state of Iowa. Latham High Tech Seeds, cheering on the Hawkeyes from the free throw line and helping with cancer awareness efforts all across the state of Iowa. to Garza against Reber. Garza off the pirouette. That is absolutely brilliant for the tie and the lead. Oh my gosh, second time. What's up, Luca? So happy for you, brother. I can't can't believe this day has come. We played played in so many games here together. Uh, it was a blessing every single time being able to being, being able to take the court with you. I, your work ethic wore off on every single person and uh, your winning attitude as a leader, just as, as a person in general, um, is, is something that it, it can't be duplicated. You're, you're one of one, man. I really, really appreciate every moment playing with you. Love you, bro. Garza tries a three. It's good. Stand still three. They let him out there. He took a wide open shot and knocked it down. What's up, Luca? Congratulations on getting your number retired. Uh, I really appreciate you just being a guidance for me uh, my freshman season uh, to become a better player and also a better person. Garza from the top, history, it's good! Iowa has the lead and Luca Garza is taking over! Hey Luca, welcome home. We're so excited to see you today and celebrate all the great things you accomplished. We saw you perform on the floor at a level never seen before here. And we know what kind of worker you are. We've talked about that at length, but the thing that impresses me the most, the thing that I'll always cherish and remember about you, is your character. The way that you led in the locker room, the way that you mentored our young players. The example that you showed every day is something that is so special, something that I hadn't experienced before in my coaching career. And that's why we're raising your number to the Rangers. I consider you family, and we love you. Congrats, Luca! This has been a presentation from Learfield.